All right, new patch. I've already kind of summarized it on Discord, but here are the patch notes for point. 14.0.1.28476. Here's the patch notes. Here we go. So, first of all, they fixed the incorrect ammo penetration and damage calculations in some situations. In a nutshell, fix some bullets, how it interacts with the new armor plates. So now that when you shoot someone, your damage should be applied to the armor and then any extra damage should be applied to the player. So them saying that incorrect ammo pen and damage calculations in some situations is them saying that maybe that the bullets that weren't working are now working and that the damage that was supposed to be applied to some of the plates and body armor flesh is now going to be applied. So that's a very good update. I know a lot of people have been really like Twitter, they've been really vocal about it. So that's that's a good thing that they've identified that immediately within the first major update of this wipe. Next one is fix the ability to inspect and modify unexamined armor lying on the ground. So you just inspect it and it'd be fine. So it takes like three seconds. Um, remove the display of integrated armor component prices of the trading screen. I've not seen this myself. I, I'm not 100% what it is. It's more of a quality of life feature, I guess. Fix the incorrect behavior of rogues when defending the water treatment and plant buildings on Lighthouse. So this was added. Well, I say added. It wasn't intended, I don't think. Uh, last wipe about midway through and they never really addressed it. However, They've now addressed it. So what was happening, you go into the water treatment in the lighthouse, you get aggro from any of the rogues in the compound and every single one of the ones that weren't on building one roof would run at you. You could easily farm them, hold an angle, headshot them, and then you've got eight, eight rogues just fully like dead and all of their loot. Some of them were wearing hex grids. Some of them had like thousands of dollars in their pockets. You know, some of them had some of the best ammo in the game. The fact that they fixed that, we'll see how it goes. That's that's a big fix. Due to the loudness of footsteps on snow, the sound of the snow is going to be so much less. That's pretty good. Fix the inability to complete some quest conditions, which is really good. And um, some people were having trouble with getting quests completed, which was gatekeeping them from the rest of the game. Fixed an issue which caused infinite loading into the raid when playing Scav. I've had this happen to me a few times. The only way to get out of that is to alt F4 and try and get back in. Fix visual effects of bloom and sun glare on all locations. It was so bright. It was, it was actually ridiculous. So that's a good thing. Also, it's not going to be as bright, so you can now turn up your brightness again, chat. In interchange color correction is now closer to the locations death's kiss we always love a bit of interchange love fix the lack of fog in optical sites in some situations there was a bug last white which they said they'd fix and didn't it was some scopes namely like the razor or the voodoo thing that's like got a four times or an eight times on it um typically had this bug fix the inability to pick up some items including quest items this was a big issue a couple of people who thought they'd completed quests by picking up an item or got some part of a quest done by picking up an item, you would have to physically be inside the item. So that's a, that's a pretty good uh, quality of life bug fix right there. Fix the ability to pass through some solid objects in some situations. This is probably to do with the vaulting. People on Shoreline specifically are using the vaulting to jump through windows and into locked rooms. You know, something that's got very high uh, chance of spawning a rare item. Hopefully that's been fixed. I've heard stories that it's not actually been fixed on, on uh, streets yet so people are still popping into the marked room however it does say pass through some solid ob objects in some situations i would imagine this can, they can still jump in but can they jump out i'm not sure so that's good uh, fix the ability to transfer items displayed in the hall of fame for quests this was also a double bug now you can you can transfer stuff from your hall of fame to your stash but also if you hand in stuff from your hall of fame it was a bug that had break your profile so people could search it so hopefully that's fixed as well uh, fix the airdrop appearing as not found in raid so anything you found in the airdrops was not found in raid so that's good so now you can actually go to an airdrop and uh loot it and be like you know what i might get some good stuff out of this and then finally increase spawn points for scavs on ground zero location so i've heard that people are farming scavs on ground zero because they always spawn in like the same certain areas so that's kind of good and that's that's pretty much it oh overall w changes i hope you guys uh enjoyed listening to me ramble through that and if you want to give the video a like or a favorite do that i'll see you guys in the next one